Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be the fourth video on Saturday updates. And in this video, we are going to know seven questions which are unanswered about dark matter. Before talking about the dark matter, I would like to give you some information about the last video, globe light. The measurements needed to make the ball shape is given in the description of that video. And I took eight days to make it. I took so much of time because I had to do some other works as well as I used Fevicol as a glue, which would take more time to dry. If you are using Fevi stick or flex stick, you can make it quicker and it may get completed in one or two days. And I used coconut broomstick, which had to be cleaned number of times. If you are using skewers, it would be easy for you to make and you don't require any special equipments or instruments. All that you need is sticks, glue, a pencil, a nail cutter and a thermocal cutter. If you need any assistance or guidance, please comment below. This universe is made up of matter, space and energy. Anything and everything that we see around us is matter. For example, our own human body or the earth or gold, air, anything. More particularly, these things are called as visible matter, which is very well known to us. Will you believe if I say the visible matter is not more than just 5% in the universe composition? That is the truth. What about the remaining 95%? In that 95%, about 27% is dark matter and the remaining 68% is energy. What is dark matter? Who gave the idea about it? What are the properties of dark matter? Is there any evidence for the existence of dark matter? Let us jump into the video and see these questions. If you are new here, please consider subscribing our channel. Before seeing the questions, we should know one basic concept to understand the existence of dark matter in the universe. That is universal gravitation. Those who do not know about universal gravitation, I would like to give you a piece of information that would make you understand it. Universal gravitation was proposed by Sir Isaac Newton, experimentally determined by Lord Henry Cavendish using a torsion balance. What does this law say? Between two objects of any mass, there exists a force of attraction. The magnitude of force of attraction between these two objects depend on their masses and the distance between their centers. More precisely, if the objects have got more mass, then the force of attraction also will be more. And the distance between the center of these objects is more, then the magnitude of force is going to be less. Let us understand this with a simple example. Let us take our solar system. Sun is at the center and the first planet is Mercury. Mercury orbits the sun at the speed of 47 kilometers per second. Whereas the second planet is Venus, 35 kilometers per second and the Earth 30 kilometers per second. If we go ahead and see the eighth planet, its speed is just 5.43 kilometers per second. Means what? As the distance is increased, the influence of gravity decreases. The speed of object which is orbiting the mass of center decreases. Let us keep this concept in our mind. In 1933, a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky observed a galaxy cluster called coma cluster. He noticed that the galaxies in the coma cluster were orbiting one another much faster than they should have been. Because whatever the known mass for their size, we had assumed with the help of the visible matter, they should have orbited much slower. That is, these galaxies had 400 times less mass than the expected mass for their speed. In simple terms, these galaxies had very less mass and very high speed. Since they were orbiting faster, he considered those galaxies and the celestial objects must have substances which we haven't seen so far, a mysterious matter. So he called them Dunkel Matter, in English, dark matter. And no wonder this dark matter is found throughout the cosmos. This dark matter is six times more abundant than the normal matter that we see around us. Though there is a lot of dark matter in the universe, still the scientists are scratching their head over it. Now let us see the questions. What is dark matter? We actually do not know what dark matter is. Only a few assumptions are made. 
such as it is the missing mass in the universe the unknown matter that made the faint stars and the black holes or a hypothetical particle called weakly interacting massive particle WIMP for instance which may behave like a neutron which is 100 times heavier than a proton and the second question can we detect dark matter the answer is so far no after decades of searching for the dark matter no one made any credible discovery one of the famous projects chinese pantox experiments also could not give any idea about the detection of dark matter dark matter could be smaller than wimps they may lack the common properties of known matter question number 3 what are the properties of dark matter astronomers discovered dark matter makes gravitational interactions with the normal matter but they could not understand anything related to its interactions but few theories say dark matter particles could be their own antiparticles means when two particles of dark matter meet they annihilate with one another this is detected using alpha magnetic spectrometer ams experiment on the iss hundreds of thousands of events have been known since 2011 and still scientists are not sure whether this radiated energy come from the dark matter and the fourth question does dark matter exist in every galaxy and the answer is yes recently astronomers found a galaxy named ngc 1052 df2 which seemed to have no dark matter at all but later it was confirmed that they mismeasured the distance and the visible matter later said that galaxy even has dark matter now the fifth question does the dark matter have more than one particle as we have already said This dark matter makes up 85% of the matter in the universe. This need not be just one type of particle, but we do not know yet. And the sixth question, what do you mean by the dark force? Do they exist? The force that may exist from the particle of a dark matter or between the particles of the dark matter is called as dark force. And so far, its existence is only in the assumptions. And the seventh question could dark matter be made of axions first we should know what are axions axions are also hypothetical particles which would be extremely light perhaps as little as 10 raised to the 31st power less massive than a proton with the help of computer simulations we have found that there could be a chance these axions could form star like objects which also releases detectable radiations called as fast radio bursts axions are just one possibilities and there are few more questions like whether dark matter can bend the light etc we will see it in the next video and most important thing these theories will remain as theories unless somebody proves it. if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you think your friends also should know about the unanswered questions related to dark matter please share the links with them if you want me to talk about any of the topics that you are interested in please leave the topics in the comments below thank you for watching love you all see you in the next video bye bye